This video is brought to you by BMacEyes Models. Check out BMacEyes Models for more info. And this video is also brought to you by Takoji Challenge's Patreon page. Please check out Takoji's Patreon page and donate $5 a month to help his channel. Hello everyone, welcome to another Top 10 video! Yay! We're going to be doing this time the Top 10 Cartoon Maps on the Gary's Mod Workshop. Now, this collection is based completely on my opinion, so take it with a grain of salt. I always say this every time I do a Top 10 video. I haven't done one in a little while, but I thought I'd do one anyway, because... Well, why not? You know, I've never actually done anything related to cartoons before, so I thought I'd do something anyway related to with Gary's Mod, which is a game I like. Now, there are a couple of rules that I am going to apply myself while doing this selection. I will not be doing Minecraft maps, at least I won't be reviewing Minecraft maps. I also will not be doing any maps too much related to Team Fortress 2. Also, you will note that most of these maps are based completely on TTT, Zombie Survival Mode, and Sandbox, so each experience of playing this uh, type of uh, map completely varies. Of course, again, I emphasize this is my opinion, so if you have any respected opinion, leave it in the comment section below and let people know about it. Also, I'm not sure if all of these maps uh, that are being included are actually created by some of the owners, but I'm pretty sure most of them have been, but in case that has not happened at all, like, just a heads up why that has not actually been made by that owner because it may have been distributed it and it could be ported from the original Gary's Mod uh, add-ons.org. Um, so without further ado, let us begin. Remember that all the maps that you see will be included in the playlist below. And like I said, the Minecraft maps, if there's another time I might do a top 10 Minecraft maps, but I'm pretty sure I won't. Anyway, let us begin. So, number 10, Peach's Castle Realistic-ish. This map is one of my favorite maps for a couple of reasons. Partly because there's a lot of stuff to do, but also partly because it's quite retro. I remember seeing this map a long time ago, and I think they now upgraded it so it looks a lot nicer. The reason why I put it 10th is that it's still kind of ugly, and it's not really something that shows off what really Gary's mod can actually do. But still, it's a very nice map with a couple of things to do with you and your friends should you actually want to do it. Number 9, Saffron City Pokemon. Saffron City, if you have never played pet Pokemon, then, well, if you're like me, you probably don't remember too much of Saffron City. Uh, regardless, it is actually a pretty amazing uh, type of map, and there's a lot of things that you can explore. The only problem is there's not a lot of interactable things, which is why it's a lot lower down the map. When I take this into consideration looking at this map, though, there are some really cool things that I like. I like the transitions into scenes. Uh, you know, I also like the fact that everything is voxelized and boxy, and it just overall a very good looking map there's just not much really going on there which is kind of my big issue with the map in the first place but overall it's a great map and there's nothing that really can stop people not downloading it so I definitely encourage uh, people to check this map out as well number eight Ed Ed and Eddie's adventures this map I only recently found and I don't know how long this map has been but the last time I checked apparently uh, it was in on the 27th of January 2014 and I've never really seen this map until recently but it is awesome. I felt like an eight-year-old again when I went past one of the uh, areas where all where Ed, Ed and Eddie would hang out and you can hear the little jingle the jingle that plays uh, when they're <laughs> doing something uh, in the background of the cartoon. Uh, I'll let you listen to it for a second. pretty cool and overall it's a very very big map so there's a lot of stuff to do but the reason why I'm putting it a lot lower is that there's not enough stuff to do it's big but not very interactable so it does lose uh, a couple of points for that number seven Green Hill Zone version 2 again like the other map uh, it's a very good looking map don't get me wrong uh, but the problem is there isn't really much stuff to do it's just one big sandbox and that is kind of what 
uh, kind of let me down on that map uh, in total, and that's kind of one of the reasons why it's not higher up. Uh, because there are some really good looking things about it. However, I will say one of the things that I really didn't like was the waterfall, but that's just my opinion. You could take that with a grain of salt as well. Overall, very happy uh, with this map in general. Definitely go check one that one out as well. Number six, Mario Kart 3. Again, this is kind of a difficult one to really put in this list, and I think one of the reasons why I put this one a lot lower is partly because it's kind of old, but it's still got a lot of stuff you can do. It plays more for Team Fortress 2 type maps, and I know what you're thinking, I already said I wasn't really going to do maps like that, but I put it anyway uh, for a few reasons, because people use it other than Team Fortress 2, so they use it a lot for sandbox and doing other recent games and game modes, etc. So it is a very good map. There's only, like, oh so many things you can actually do on it. And like I said, it's kind of ugly, but there are moments of beauty, like when you're on the Zeppelin or the Bip Blimp, wherever you are in the world and however you want to call it. That's a pretty cool part as well. So generally speaking, yeah, I kind of like it overall. It's a, it's a good map. Number five, Tron underscore CYC underscore Arena underscore A5. Yeah, a tongue twister there. I gotta be honest with you, I actually do like the movie Tron, and I do like a lot of the environments in Tron. This map is kind of special to me because it's just one of the one of the very first big Tron maps that really grabbed me quite a lot. But again, this is all based on personal opinion. There's not really much you can actually do. I guess it's basically for arenas and maybe car duels and zombie fights or even big sandbox builds. But overall, I have to say it's not really a big enough map in terms of like interactable stuff to do, but it's definitely eye candy. And I think there's a lot more practical things you can do with it, which is probably the reason why it's higher than most maps. So overall, that's what I think. And I kind of stick with that opinion in the end of the day. So that's my number five. Number four, TTT underscore the ship underscore version one. This map kind of suffers a lot like other maps, but the thing it really saves it is that it's aesthetically it's very pleasing, but also there is a lot of eye candy lookable stuff to check out. It's great for sandbox and of course primarily it's used for TTT. And I can really see why. There's a lot of dark corners and ways that you can hide the bodies, etc. It's a fantastic map to use. So I definitely recommend downloading this map if you're a TTT user, and even if you're just a general sandbox user overall. It's yeah, it's pretty awesome overall, I gotta say. Number three, Canterlot. Gotta be honest with you, I don't know too much about My Little Pony, but this map is the only My Little Pony map that I found that actually was really, really good. There's a lot of stuff to do. And even if you're not a brony or any of that stuff, you can at least appreciate how the map makers actually make this. Let's start off with the fact that there's so much interactable stuff to do, it was actually the most exciting map that I could trial out while making this video. You can start shooting ponies through doors, you can look at the amazing landscape, you can laugh at all these pony-based jokes. It's pretty good, I gotta be honest with you, and I, I, there's nothing that can really stop me from saying it's a bad map. But I can understand why other people would maybe put this lower on their list. Again, it's kind of an old map from what I've heard, but overall I gotta say, it's a fantastic map. Even if you're not a brony, you'll definitely have a lot of fun shooting some really funny Gmod based uh, pictures and stuff like that. So definitely go check this map out. Number two, the Krusty Krab. This is one of Gary's Mod's oldest and most famous maps. I still remember playing this map way into the days where it, we used to download Gary's Mod add-ons through garysmodaddons.org, and my brother and I used to play this map a lot. And where to begin, really, it starts off with the stupid Tiny Tim music when shooting zombies. And also just starts off as like a big fan service towards fans of uh, Spongebob Squarepants. I grew up with Spongebob, I still think it's one of the funniest shows out there. And I really like it overall that the fans still use this map, and still Gary's Mod users use this map for all kinds of things. So definitely go check this map out, even if you're not a fan of Spongebob Squarepants. And my number one favorite map is GM Middle of Nowhere, also known as the Courage the Cowardly Dog map. 
And this map looks great in the night over the day, but even then there's a lot of cool things about it. It's got great sounds, it's got a great, it's greatly modeled. There are some things I could see where they pulled it from Half-Life 2, but overall it's just such a famous and iconic map, it's hard not to miss. It can be used for TTT, it can be used for zombie survival. I've seen so many videos using this map because it's just a very, very fun and nostalgic trip back to the days where Courage the Cowardly Dog was on TV. I still remember Courage the Cowardly Dog watching it uh, when I was living all the way in Chile. That's how special this, uh, this map was. And that's actually kind of one of the main reasons why it's number one, because it is still one of the most popular maps out there, and it's still, a, you know, it's just pure nostalgia for me. So that's why I put it as my number one map. Not because it's interactable, it's definitely not the prettiest map, but it's just a great bundle of fun, and it's a great joy to have it as a map overall. So these are my top 10 favorite Gary's Mod cartoon maps. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm sure a lot of you are going to agree and disagree. Till then, I'm Delta, and I'll see you later. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, all the maps that you've seen today are downloadable and playable in the playlist below. See ya! Hello everyone, Delta here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and don't forget also to comment below. If you dislike it, be sure to also comment below and let me know what you think. I'm always trying to improve as you can probably expect. And if you like my videos in general, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. If you like any of my other videos, don't forget to go check them out as per usual. Till then, I'll see you all soon and thank you very much for watching.